Okay, we're ready to get started cutting our fabric. In order to cut your fabric, you first need to understand what lines you can trust on this piece of fabric. This is a 44 inch wide piece of fabric, so there's going to be two pieces of the selvage at the top, and then the fold line, first fold line there, and then your bottom second fold line down here. You're going to want to cut everything to the second fold line. That's your one straight true line on this piece of fabric. So the first step is to square up the end of this fabric. You do this by lining up your rotary cutter on your fabric. Now a lot of people will show squaring over here and just square up your fabric using the mat, using the lines on your mat. I don't do that. I square up using the lines on my fabric and the lines on my ruler. I never trust the lines on my mat. So I'm going to line up my ruler. The full length of this line is going to be lined up with the fabric. The full length. And that makes me very sure that my fabric is perfectly straight. Not just along this line, but when I cut this line. Now, now I'm going to be cutting left-handed so keep in mind that whenever you cut right-handed, all these motions are going to be reversed. So I put my hand down on my rotary ruler and I hold it very firmly. I don't want this ruler to shift at all. I hold down my rotary cutter and I make one smooth cut from the beginning to the end, moving away from me. So that's my first cut. I just squared up the end of my fabric. Now you can tell if you're square by unfolding this strip and looking at it. Is that a nice straight smooth line? If you're seeing anything that looks like a V shape in the strip, then you're probably coming cutting off. So now we're ready to start cutting our pieces. We've squared up so we know that this end is straight and this line is straight. Now we can make cuts coming from this end, so long as we line up this line and this line with the rotary cutting ruler. We're going to cut two and a half inch strips. So we line up this line on the two and a half inch mark, and we line up the bottom line on any line of the ruler. Notice that I'm not actually lining this up with the edge of the ruler, because I can't see really that edge hardly at all. I want to actually line this up with the line on the ruler so I can clearly see it. I'm also making sure that, that I am including the line, the two and a half inch line, with my measurement. This might seem a little picky. The, two, the line that creates that two and a half inch mark is probably only a 32nd of an inch wide. But that's a 32nd of an inch that is supposed to be included in our piece. So I am double and triple checking that my fabric goes to the full width of that line. I hold down the rotary cutting ruler and I make my cut. So now let's unfold this strip. We have two folds to look at. This first fold, and we look at our strip and we make sure that first fold is perfectly straight, and then we have a second fold. And we open that up and make sure that it is perfectly straight. If there's any bit of a slight V at all, then we know that, that piece was not cut square and we need to cut it again. So now we'll cut a second strip. Again, lining up, including that line with your cut, holding the ruler down and making a nice smooth cut. It's important to check about every other strip to make sure that you're cutting square. And then about every three cuts I make on this fabric, I'm going to take my ruler and put it on this side, and I'm going to square up this end again. Why do I do that? That seems like a little bit of a waste of time, right? Or that seems like it's going to waste a lot of fabric. It's actually not. By squaring up again to the full length of this line, I'm making sure that all of my strips are perfectly straight and square. 
staying in square is very, very important because that makes sure, you sure that you are both square and on grain. Now you see me make several passes on this piece. It took me several tries to cut that entirely. That means that my blade is dull and it needs to be changed. Let me go grab a new blade. New blades cost anywhere from four to ten dollars. It's really important to change your blades often, especially if you're cutting out a big quilt and you're starting to get have to make multiple passes to do a cut. When you start have to make multiple passes, then that means your blade is very dull and then that is going to start affecting the accuracy of your strips. Oops, I keep dropping and tighten that washer on. There we go. Starting with a fresh blade. Make sure to dispose of your old blade in the packaging of your new blade. That way it won't slice up your trash bag. So that blade's secure. Now we're ready to make a fresh cut with a new blade. Look at how easy and nice that was. It's so much easier to be using a sharp new blade whenever you're cutting your fabric. When you cut out fabric for a quilt, it is typically cut into strips, and then those strips are cut down into squares and rectangles. Let's show how to use cut a strip down into squares. We're first going to cut one single piece at a time. So you stretch out the full length of your strip and put your ruler on the full length of it. On this strip we have two lines that we can trust. We can trust the both horizontal lines. So this line and this line. This line has not yet been squared up. So we want to lay our ruler over the strip, hold it down, and square up that end. So now we have three lines that we can trust. This line, this line, and the end. And we can make our cuts down the strip. So we're going to cut two and a half inch squares. Again, making sure that we are including the lines with our measurement and our cut. We always want to include the line because that is a part of the measurement. If we omit that line, our block is going to finish out smaller than what it's meant to measure. So I'm just holding that down on the two and a half inch mark and making that cut away from me. And you know, we can make a million cuts like this one single piece at a time, but it might take a while. It is actually quicker to cut two pieces and sometimes even four pieces at a time. The most important thing when cutting multiple pieces at a time is to make sure that you are cutting very carefully, that you're strip is staying 100% square and on grain and that you are not sacrificing accuracy for speed. So now I have two layers. I've made sure that those lines are perfectly lined up. I'm going to line my rotary ruler up with that and square off one end. I'm going to line my ruler up again with the two and a half inch mark, including that line with my measurement, hold it down, and make my cut. And now we have two squares for the time it took to only cut one. It's very nice. You do want to double check every once in a while, pick up a square, and set your rotary ruler on top of it. This is why we use only one brand of rulers, so that we can always double check that we're perfectly square and we're at the exact size that we want. Even if you're just two or three threads off, you might want to recut that square, that piece, because even two or three threads could affect the outcome of your block and whether those seams match or not.
So there we go. We've cut several squares in white. Now let's cut several squares in blue. Here's our blue fat quarter. Fat quarters are much easier to cut because they're smaller. They're all, you're only working with half of the yard, half of the width. So only about 20 to 22 inches wide. That's a lot easier. So again, you make sure that this piece is perfectly square. Lay it down. Hand press that seat, that fold in. We're going to line up our ruler along this whole line. And every once in a while I find that the selvage might have been kind of pulled out of shape. So I just back up my line. I don't mind losing a good half of an inch of my fabric to make sure that that piece is going to be perfect. I gotta say, working with a fresh blade is so much easier on your hands and on your wrists. You're not having to press so hard or press down on your rotary cutter so hard to try and get it to cut through all those layers. So much easier on your body to work with a fresh new blade. So we'll make our cut. I'm going to leave this folded in half so that way we can cut out our blocks. Again, line up our ruler with the two horizontal lines. Square off one end. And you'll notice that I transfer my rotary cutter from one hand to the other. Of course, you can, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can also always square your fabric on one end and flip it so that you're cutting each piece with your right hand. But I find it's just as easy to switch from hand to hand. Just two pieces cut. And four pieces cut. So now we've cut out the pieces for one block. This is going to be a nine patch block. And let's lay it out right now. A nine patch block is made up of nine different pieces set up on a three by three grid. We're going to piece this together with each piece separately and show you how that works.